It is time for our second installment of Wavy's Navy Ship Salute. Once a month, we will highlight a different vessel that calls the world's largest Navy base home. That's right here in Hampton Roads. And 10 on your sides, Brett Hall is live there with us right now with this month's ship. Looks like we may be having some technical difficulties there, Brett. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can you guys hear us? Yeah, we we're, 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 working, we're having fun with the, cell, uh, the, the live signal this morning. Um, can you, do you have us? We're in the USS New York. We're just inside off the uh, uh, inside here, and we're, we're just talking to No Katie about firefighters, and there are a lot of them on this ship, and it, there's a uh, bond that they have. And we're, I'm here with DCC Matt Campbell. Good morning. Thanks hey, for being morning. here. He's actually going to talk about that relationship while I uh, try to put on myself some of the gear that they use. So talk a little bit about the significance of being a firefighter on this ship. Yeah, while absolutely. I try this. So yeah, in, uh, being on New York, we are completely self-sustained as a firefighting unit. Uh, we respond to every and all casualties that, that does happen on board. So and that gives us a, a lot of pride being that 343 firefighters did die in the tragic events of 9-11. So uh, Brett here has got I know, I'm trying two, to... two minutes is what we, we shoot for in dressing out, right? And we'll, we'll have on this firefighting protective garment. For protection. I can't and, even get dressed then, regular in about two and minutes. And then, uh, and then we have a, a self-contained breathing apparatus, which we'll use for all firefighting casualties. So now, you said that this is kind of a living museum. Talk about that. It is. So throughout the the ship, there are several memorials uh, that we try to pay homage to, uh, being that we've we've gotten a lot of memorabilia from different firehouses in New York, who, you know, we've welcomed. Trying the to multitask here. I'm and sorry. Then, and they have donated stuff, and we try to keep that memory uh, alive and that same spirit uh, the, of, of, of New York's fire department. Now, uh, you said there's a, a piece of steel at the bottom of the ship? There is. There's seven and a half tons of the bow of the ship is made uh, directly from the uh, Twin Towers, which was, uh, which was melted down and, and cast into the, the bow of the ship. Yes, sir. All right. Now, I'm trying to see how I'm doing here. How am I, I, am I doing okay on time? I think you're going to make it. Now, does, do the sailors have as much help as I'm getting right now? Because I don't even think I've done half the work. Typically, myself. I don't know. Would you guys think you have that much time? <laughs> no, absolutely. Don't no, we much. don't have that much. Time. <laughs> that, 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 that was gracious. And, I mean, there's a lot of things that, uh, not to be doomed, but that can go wrong on a ship. And actually, uh, I mean, we, we saw in our Navy, Navy ship salute last month some of the techniques that you guys use. How often are you training for fight, fighting fires? We train, we train regularly, right? You guys would attest. We train uh, pretty regularly, at least three or four times a week. We try to run drills to, to get into that mindset, to get in that timeline, all those kind of uh, important timelines that we must meet to extinguish a fire and uh, combat a flooding casualty or whatever we have. Well, thank you very much, guys, for helping me. This is actually my first time ever, Asia and Katie, in TV news that I've done this. I know a lot of other reporters have in local fire departments, but I've done it on a ship, so I think I win. We're live on the USS New York. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.